I'm sitting on a first degree fitness uh, E520 fluid rower, which is an absolutely incredible piece of machinery for training. And I'm not a professional fitness model or anything like that. This is actually a piece of equipment that I trained on um, in preparation for a rowing race that I did this year across the Indian Ocean. And that was a race where uh, my crew and I rowed an ocean rowing boat called Ade Amis, 3,600 miles from Western Australia to the island of Mauritius, which is off the coast of Southeast Africa. Our goal as a team of eight people on our boat was to set the world record for the fastest crossing of the Indian Ocean by oar. And I'm happy to say that we did that. It took us 58 days. Um, training for an event like this is quite an extensive process. You have to train uh, both your mind and your body to be prepared to withstand the rigors of 58 days at sea. Not surprisingly, uh, the best way to train for an ocean rowing event is on a rowing machine. As, as I started to prepare and to train for this event, uh, this was my introduction to first degree fitness and the fluid rowers, and in particular the E520 model, which is the one that I'm sitting on. Practice makes perfect. In other words, you want to train like you're actually going to row in an event, and that's one of the things that's so remarkable about the fluid rower. Rowing on a fluid rower like the E520 is, in my mind, about as close as you can get to actually being on the water and rowing. One of the things that is, is so enjoyable about the fluid rower is the aesthetics of it, the aesthetics of the, of the whole experience. The rowing, hearing the water in the background, seeing the water, and being able to close your eyes and actually visualize being on the boat and rowing is an incredibly important part uh, of the training experience and not to be underestimated. And that's one of the things that's so amazing about the fluid rower is that it gives you that capacity. I've worked out on many different types of equipment over the years in training, from treadmills to stair climbers. The rowing machine is hands down one of the most engaging pieces of equipment that I've ever trained on because it truly is a full body experience, not just in the physical sense, but in the other senses as well. Uh, of course, the workout is amazing. But being able to do that as you listen to the sound of the water, as you, as you watch the water flow, the, the sense is one that's very peaceful and draws you very inward during your training session. Another element of rowing uh, on the First Degree Fitness Rowing Machine is really the, the ease of use. It's a very intuitive process. Uh, even if you are not at all an experienced rower, if you've never been in a boat or even on any other type of equipment at all. It's very intuitive to get on the rowing machine and to begin your workouts. I would like to say though that training, working out in particular, training on a rowing machine is not something that's just for the elite athlete, not something just for either the ocean rower like me or for the flat water competitive rower like you might see in the Olympics. Instead, training on a rowing machine is an amazing full body workout that's appropriate for anybody of any level of fitness, from the beginning exerciser to the most advanced exerciser. You can get benefits from a rowing machine regardless of your level. And it's a full body workout. It's a workout of your cardiovascular system, your upper body, and your lower body. And the benefits uh, are achievable instantaneously, even if you start off on the rowing machine with short 15 minute easy sessions, you will start to notice the benefits and the differences within the first week. And something that most people don't know is it really gives you an incredible lower body workout as well because most of the power that's generated on a rowing machine or actually on a, on a rowing boat is from your legs. And so it requires great uh, leg power and leg stamina.